today I'd like to talk about the probabilistic model of range. Um, I've written posts about this in the past, how it works, but I'd really like to try to explain it to you better. The idea is that a ball put into play has certain parameters that make it harder or easier for a fielder to catch. For example, you can imagine that a ball hits you shortstop at a medium speed to, you know, the, the regular position a shortstop plays would be fairly easy to turn into an out. That probably 95% of the time, a ball like that from a right-handed batter or even a left-handed batter is going to be turned into an out. It's an easy play. So, if a fielder has lots of balls like that, say a shortstop has lots of balls hit to him during the season, you would expect his fielding average to be very high because they're fairly easy plays. Now you can imagine that a ball hit at the same speed into the hole might be a more difficult play for a shortstop. A shortstop may make 20% of those plays, for example. And if that's true, then the shortstops who are making those plays more often are essentially better shortstops. They're making the tough plays. Now, how much of this is really range? How much of this is really positioning? Um, it's hard to tell. But what we're trying to measure here is how often a player makes a play. Same thing in the outfield. A ball, high fly ball to straightaway center field should be a fairly easy play for a fielder. You would expect those fielders to make most of those plays. Fielders uh, who have to run into the gaps to make a catch, well, those are harder plays, depending upon how hard the ball is hit, uh, what vector it's hit to, you know, how good your left fielder is, how good your right fielder is. All of these things are going to add in. So what we do is we look at six uh, different parameters. We look at uh, a vector which tells us the direction of the ball. Think of um, dividing the field into pie slices, where each of these pie slices is a vector. Uh, basically, every five degrees represents one vector in this system. So you have 18 different pie slices, nine on each side of second base. They actually fan out around into foul territory so we can uh, record foul pops and so forth. The second thing is how hard the ball was hit. Um, baseball Info Solutions records whether a ball is hit softly, medium, or hard. Uh, this is a proxy for distance. Uh, the reason I use that is I don't want to use two different models, one for the infield, one for the outfield, although in the future I may try that. Uh, the third is the batted ball type, ground ball, fly ball, line drive. We have a couple of new ones this year, Fliners, uh, fly, uh, basically two more levels of arc on the ball. There's line drive, there's Fliner line drive, there's Fliner fly balls, and there's fly balls. Each one is going to have a bigger arc. Uh, we also have uh, ground bunts and uh, pop bunts in there as well, although obviously bunts are, uh, are much rarer plays. Then we have um, the handedness of the batter. If you're a left-handed batter, you would expect uh, more of a shift than if you're a right-handed batter toward uh, first base. If you're a right-handed batter, you might expect more of a shift toward third base. And the handedness of the pitcher. Uh, you know, handedness of the pitcher affects how good a hitter, a right-handed hitter is, how good a hitter, a left-handed hitter is. Uh, and finally, park. The park you're playing in is a factor because different parks affect uh, the, ball, the ball game is differently. So, six parameters, we put those together, we record the outs and the safes on each of those parameters. Was this batted ball turned into an out? And then we look to see how each fielder did in those various parameters, and what we come up with is an expected number of outs. And from the expected number of outs in the ball in plays, we get an expected DER, the defensive efficiency which is simply uh, out divided by ball in play. We see what the fielder actually got on all of those, and the difference between those two numbers is what we use to rank the players. 
We would expect good players to have a positive number, that is, they have a higher DER than what's expected. We would expect poor fielders to have a negative uh, difference, that is, they make fewer plays than expected. And that's basically um, the probabilistic model of range system.